All right, I'm going to start this off by saying right away, Minnesota Vikings, you guys have one heck of a defense. One absolute heck of a defense. And you shut us out in that first half. But the thing is, you can only stop Jake Browning for so long. And that's truly the matter of the fact is. Jake Browning, the first half, was awful. He was horrendous. And I want to say right now, other than that trick play on third down and two by Zach Taylor, I think overall-wise, the play calling for the game was actually pretty okay and on par. I think Zach Taylor did a great job today in play calling, but I think the execution in the first half was absolutely piss poor by everyone except for that first drive. It was really bad on offense. Defensively, B.J. Hill might go down as a Hall of Famer for the amount of interceptions he gets if he keeps his streak alive for the rest of his career. But I got to say again, shout out to the Vikings, man. I doubted Nick Mullins. And by the way, he's a second string quarterback. Some people say he was a fourth string. He's a second string quarterback. But no, I doubted him. And he absolutely went out there and played great football. And I give him full props for where props are due. Jay Jettis is still the one of the best receivers in the NFL. I still think he's 1A, 1B with Jamar Chase. But yeah, he's best receiver. Uh, Jordan Addison was an absolute amazing first round draft pick for you guys. And obviously, Ty Chandler, I doubted him too. And I should not have doubted him in any way possible. Ty Chandler played his greatest game. I've probably seen him in a backup running back taking an opportunity to get a starting job. My throat right now is like dead because I was screaming for the last bit of time. But, I mean, overall-wise, this was a great team win and a great comeback win. And I, I said many times this team could go win a Super Bowl, and I think they can. And I think, you know, I know everyone's going to doubt us and say we can't go win it all and we can't finish this season off with a ring. But I'm sorry, we might do it in the most ugliest fashion possible. We might absolutely be the cardiac cats for the rest of this season, but we're going to go win the Super Bowl. And the sad part is the NFL is going to hate us because we had a pick six, but we were offsides. Now, I have to watch back that play, and I'm not going to sit here and say that offsides was bullcrap or not, because unlike Chiefs fans, I will watch back the play, and I'll see the overview shot. It looked like he wasn't offsides, and the announcer said he wasn't offsides, and the ball was hiked before he jumped, but I had to watch back the play before I make a final verdict, because that pick six by Jermaine Pratt was pretty not the game, but it would have been close to being the game. And it does suck that that was called back, but I have to watch it before I can call that bullcrap or not. I will say, though, the T. Higgins non-PI call in overtime was absolutely horse crap, and that should have been P.I., but in the end, it just led up to this amazing moment to win this game and get this job done. And I can't stress enough how amazing, you know, this win was for everyone on this team. I mean, everyone out there today. We played one of our greatest comeback games. And again, it's just more reasons why we're going to the playoffs and we're going to the Super Bowl. Because this team is magical. Everyone rallies behind everyone in that second half. Even losing DJ Reed or even losing Poison Ivy. I hope those guys, by the way, are okay. But it doesn't matter, though. We lose Kappa part of this game. Jamar Chase is out of this game at the end. Nothing stops us. We fight. We fight game in, fight out. Game out. We are Houday Nation and we never stop. Not until we are holding up that Lombardi Trophy. And everyone who says, oh, yeah, the Cats aren't going to ever win it. Get ready. Just get ready. Because you guys aren't. And I know you're going to count us out. And I know this game, oh, well, the Vikings should, oh, the Bengals should have destroyed them. Or whatever they're going to make the excuse for this game. And how we looked awful and horrendous and we're not that good of a team. I don't care. Because we won. We have 27 points against an elite defense. One of the best top five defenses in the last couple weeks. This is a top five defense last couple weeks. And we did it on them. 324 yards. Tell me Jake Browning's not the guy. Tell me AJ McCarron needs to come in this game. No DJ Reader. It sucks. But we'll still get this game going. We're going to fight game in, game out. The refs in this game. They were questionable. Very questionable. But at the end of the day, we won. And we're going to continue to win. Pittsburgh, you're next on the docket. You're next on the Jake Browning experience. And as the Jags, who were 8-3, and three, how they saw it on Monday Night Football. And then last week versus the Colts. Pittsburgh, you're next. And there's no hiding this time. Because you're playing Jake. 
and Jake the Snake is not stopping anytime soon. And Kansas City. Oh, Kansas City. Don't worry. You, you're not going to escape this guy. You lost to Jordan Love. You thought Jordan Love was too much to handle? Get ready for Jake the Snake. Because Jake the Snake is next guy on the docket after Pittsburgh. And then Cleveland. Oh, you thought we forgot. No, don't worry, Cleveland. You're coming to our house this time. And Jake the Snake is about to beat you. And Joe Flacco. Okay, listen, okay, that, that sounded a lot better in my head until I had to put the Joe Flacco part in there. But, hey, Joe Flacco's actually playing pretty good right now. I can't even trash him. Our defense today, our first quarter, first drive sucked, okay? But that's how we always play. We play Ben don't break. In the first drive, we sucked. Then we got two defensive turnovers. Then the rest of the game, we play kind of wishy-washy, right? They have a great offense. They do. And am I concerned about our defense? No. I think that our offense needs to start picking it up for our defense, though. And I think our defense is not going to be like they used to be back in the day. You know, back when we first started, uh, like the Seahawks game, Cardinals game, 49ers game. We had no Cam Taylor bread out there. And he might come back for the Chiefs game. It's very possible based on what I'm saying now. But at the end of the day, we have no Cam Taylor bread out there. Now we have no DJ Reader or Poison Ivy. Our offense needs to start picking this up. And I get it if we play a team like the Chiefs. Oh, they're going to blow us out in the first half and we're not going to be able to do this. Well, look at last week. We scored, what, 14 points in the first half. So every game is different and it's a week-to-week -week league. But at the end of the day, I, yeah, I call, thank you, um, Brown. I called it a trap game. I said this was a trap game going into it and it was a trap game. But we beat the trap game. We defeated tra the trap game. And in the end of the day, we got the job done. So let's look at stats real fast before we get out of here. So Jake Browning, 29-42, 324 yards, two touchdowns. We ran the ball 22 times in this game. Obviously less than last week. A lot of these rushes came in the second half. Because the first half, I think we had like three rushes. It was after awful, really awful in the first half. Um, they shut down Jamar Chase. They did their defense again. Brian Forrest deserves so much credit for this. Honestly, at this point... Great job by Brian Flores in every way possible. T. Higgins, I mean, that touchdown when he caught it and reached across the goal line, I, I can't even give him enough credit. I really can't. Again, like I said, on the other side, amazing plays by Jordan Addison and Justin Jefferson. I'm not taking anything away from the Vikings in this game. This is not me saying in any way possible the Vikings didn't play great football. They played their best football you could ever see. And we just played a tad bit better. And Brian Flores, man, you made our life a living hell in this game. You deserve a head coaching job somewhere so after this game. After this game, you need a head coaching job somewhere else. You deserve this. Um, Yoshi, one catch, five yards. I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm taking away, man. My heart right now is like, but man. I, I think before we get out of here, I do want to bring this one thing up real fast. Is I want to go ahead and pull up the playoffs here. Um, just to take a look and update us with the playoff schedule and all the playoff stuff. After obviously the Chargers lost their game. Um, Bengals here. We won. We still have a 38% chance to make the playoffs. If, if, if the Broncos lose tonight. Right now, by the way. We are currently 6th seed in the playoffs. If the Broncos lose tonight, we sit at that 6th seed. And we enjoy that 6th seed. 41% chance to make the playoffs if, if the Broncos lose tonight. Colts win tomorrow. Steelers, let's go. Lose, please, Steelers, lose. 6th um, uh, seed. We need the Browns to lose to the Bears. Cowboys beat the Bills. Titans beat the Texans. Ravens beat the Jaguars. Come on, Baltimore. I never said I wanted you to win, but I want you to win this time. And we're going to be, after this week, sitting at number six. We control our own destiny. We do. After, if the Broncos lose, we control our own destiny. Come on. It don't matter what 0-4 in a division. It don't matter what anything anyone else says. 
we have our chance to go win it all. Don't let us in there. Because Jake... Jake might do it. Wait, hold up. And we got it. We got a flag on the play. A flag. A flag on the play. Hang on. Let me go to Twitter. We got a flag on the play. All right. Shout out to Fancy Truck Stop. I think I would have been watching and listening to Bengals game. Um, oh. Wait, hold up. You, you said you tagged me. Mentions. Sorry. There we go. Um... Wait, did you tag me? Wait. Who tagged me? Someone said they tagged me with the offsides. Did you not tag the right person? Um. I know mine. Someone said they tagged me on the play. I tagged you on Twitter. Jameson on the offsides. I don't. I don't know. I don't see the tag. Um. Love your cast. Yeah, I don't see the tag on Twitter, to be honest, uh, Jameson. Okay, so, I, I, again, like I said, I had to watch the play over to see, you know, I want to see every angle from it anyway, to see if it was offsides or not. Um, yeah, I just got Sarah Buck Buckler, who said that, and I appreciate it. I tagged a fancy truck, I think. You might have, you might have tagged fancy truck stop with, um, hang on. Fancy truck. I, so my Twitter handle is without the O. You might have tagged it with the O. Um. Well, I, actually, I show up every time with the O. But you might have tagged it with the O and not without the O. So that might be why. Um. You might have just tagged it because again, like I said, my channel, my uh, Twitter guys, if you want to follow me, is Fancy Truck Stop without the O. It's a uh, P. It's S T P. So, yeah, you might have tagged me without the O, and that might be why. Um, that might be why you, um, yeah. I don't know, but potentially, I guess. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace out.